Greetings and salutations, my friend. It is I, Woo's the Collector, with episode 94 of the Collector's Geeks and Freak Show. This week, I got monsters. Titans. Yep, I got my overfill of it. I did sign up for Apple TV. Signed up for it. Got uh, four months. I'm going to cancel because that I think that was the only show I wanted to watch on Apple TV is Legacy of Monsters. Um... That was pretty good. It was, oh, I'm sorry, Monarch Le Legacy of Monsters. Um, I enjoyed it because I wanted to watch it before we went to see uh, Kong, or no, I'm sorry, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, which we'll get to that. I thought I had heard somewhere or I had read somewhere that uh, Monarch led up to that. All that TV show was, it was 10 episodes. It showed how Monarch began. Um, John Goodman's character from the original Kong, you see him um, running, and we get to see him as a younger version of him, but not it's not John Goodman, it's another actor. Um, Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell playing um, the same character was great. Um, Wyatt played a younger version of Lee, um, who was the army guy, and Kurt Russell played him as the older guy. Um, I don't want to go any more into that, but it was really cool, um, show. I enjoyed it. Um, it was one of those shows where I wanted to keep watching it. So that was a good thing. But in my opinion, I did not need to watch it before going to see the new movie because I really didn't see anything that led up to the mo new movie or any of the characters from the TV show in the movie. Um, there, uh, there may have been mentions here and there, but that's about it. Um, but I would watch, uh, if you're a Godzilla fan, uh, Titan fan, <laughs> you know, Kaiju fan, it's a good show to watch. Um, I enjoyed it. I give it probably, uh, four stars. Um, then I, we went to see Kong. I'm sorry, Godzilla. I keep screwing up the name. I don't know why Kong is always coming first in my head. But it's Godzilla x Kong, the new empire. We saw it in XD at Cinemark, um, which is always great viewing in there. For the most part, it was okay. It's not the best one so far. I like the, other, the, the one originally when it was them two versus each other. Um, and that was one of the coolest fights is them going at it before they make they make friends to go beat up the new bad guy and they got to get some new bad guys. I did read that online. The villains kind of um lacklustered out. You got this Scar King um and I don't want to ruin the movie, but it goes all the way back into the past and about Godzilla, how Godzilla locked him up and all this other stuff. So it's got a backstory but it really didn't fit in in my mind with the Monarch TV show, too. So if you watch Monarch before Godzilla, you're going to have a question in your head just like I do. Because in Monarch, when they go through the portals, or a human goes through the portals, time is different. It's slower. When you come back, you come back many years later if you stay too long. So that was kind of confusing and maybe they addressed it in one of the other movies and i don't remember it but now in this movie it seems like time runs normal because they have an outpost in um center earth or whatever the hell they call it the, the middle of the the planet where all the titans come from um the great thing about it too um the movie which is probably my favorite new character mothra mothra was cool as hell um, is one of my favorite Godzilla characters, but this movie, I would probably give a three or a two. Um, it was enjoyable to see in the XD. I'm glad I didn't pay for the, uh, D box seats. Cause to me that wouldn't have been worth it if it's not that great of a movie. Um, I'll probably watch it again on TV or something. Cause I may watch all of them in a row one time. Who knows? I, I do get on those kicks every once in a while. So that's what I, I watched all this week. So if you're a Godzilla fan, you'll love it. If you're a kind of a fan like I am, I'm on the fence about it. Monarch TV show, in my opinion, was better than the movie. But that's my opinion. Watch them and see what you think. All right, guys. Oh, and another thing, too, I noticed, too. Best Buy, 
as it came April 1st, no more movies at Best Buy. So, if you any of you collectors out there like me, Best Buy has finally closed its doors on Blu-rays and DVDs. Um, I think video games are next, and it looks like they got rid of physical music as well. So, the only place left is my spe specialty sites, or like Amazon or Target, maybe. But I even heard Target and Walmart. You, even when you go in their stores, the games and everything are getting less because they're planning on phasing it out as well. But I did hit some local stores this week. I hit my local Target, which I found nothing. I got some stuff from my local a local Walmart, um, real dirt cheap clearance, um, half price McFarland figures from Best Buy, and Amazon had um, Pops and Marvel Core boxes for dirt cheap, less than half off. These are the only things I'm buying right now because we're saving up for Vegas. So um, I'm keeping my spending low. But I'm going to share with you guys what I got this week over at Walmart. And I'm not a huge G.I. Joe fan. But this was originally $24.99. I picked up Lady J um, for $20. Because I like the 6-inch figures. And I figured I could probably turn around. The card isn't that bad. It's a little warped, but... For $10, I picked it up. Also at this Walmart, they had Superpower, McFarlane Superpower, DC figures. $2. So I picked up Nightwing and Green Lantern. Nightwing's got a couple little tears in his card. No, I'm sorry, Nightwing's over here. He's got a little tear in the card there. But for 2 bucks, and these were originally $10, I believe, I picked them up. Um, I do have a couple of the first wave, and I believe this is the second wave. So that's all I found in the stores this week. Um, Best Buy, again, you uh, you take your chances. I warn everybody. I, I take my chances myself, but this isn't clearance or anything like that. So if it's really bad, you can return it to the store. And that's one of my weekly um, stomping grounds almost, you know, when we go out and do our shopping and everything. So I could easily return it, and I, I work about, my office is right around the corner as well if I wanted to. And once again, they put their big stickers on it, but this is Jake Garrett as The Flash. He was one of my favorite uh, because it was the original Flash from the TV show in the WB um, Flash series, which I still haven't watched up to the final season. He was played by the original Flash from the, I think it was early 90s TV show can't remember the actor's name I've seen him at Terrificon and a couple other things seems like a really nice guy and I enjoyed his uh his uh Jay Garrison G Jay Garrick on The Flash so yeah this was uh less than half off I got it for 10 bucks they were something like that there was just two of them I think they were like 10 dollars and change so I bid on them because these are usually $19 or $24.99 depending on where you find them. This was another one that I wanted for a little while because um, I am a villain fan. This is the Joker from Infinity Frontier. Probably one of my favorite Batman villains too. It's probably everybody's favorite Batman villains. Just, just because, uh, I mean, I like Heath Ledger. I know a lot of people... Uh, Phoenix, I'm not even going to try to say his first name because I know I'm going to say it wrong. Um, but I'm a Heath Ledger Batman and Jack, and not Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton Batman. Those two movies were my favorites. Um, so I'm a big fan of Joker because both of them, I just, you got to look at it as it's a different universe. You know, not everything's the same. Oh, um, they had Marvel... Corp box. This is the Love and Thunder box. Six ninety nine. It comes with uh, a, you. You had to get the extra large or extra small shirt. So it's two pops for six ninety nine. That's three dollars a pop. To me, that's a no brainer. If I could sell the um, t shirt or give it away, it it really doesn't matter to me. Yeah, this is a yeah extra small t shirt. Which is not a bad looking t-shirt, but there ain't no way I'm fanning into this. 
four baby Uh We've got the oh cord pin. An old lady was gonna steal that. And as guardian sticker, lady was might steal that as well. And then we have the card that tells you what's in the box. A little preview of what's coming next in the Marvel Core boxes. For me, I, I learned my lesson. I will not subscribe to another one that's coming out, no matter how cool it is. The last one I did that paid full price for was the X-Men 97. And that one was another cheap one. And I could have done without the t-shirt as well if I could get the pops for that cheap. So this box has got a glow-in-the-dark Mighty Thor. And it looks like Thor armored up. These two. Everything else in the box to me is free. Three bucks a piece. And I did get another one. I can't remember which one because there's uh, three Amazon boxes to do this week. Like I said, they had a big price cut. Half or, or more off. Some of the stuff I picked up was like 75% off. Oh, here's, here's the other one. This was also... $6.99. It's the uh, new Marvels movie. $6.99. This had a on an offside steel. Oh, this is a small t-shirt. For $6.99, like I said, the t-shirt, the pin, and the sticker are free to me. And the pops are what we're in. So we got uh Miss Marvel sticker. The card. A small t-shirt. <laughs> Of the Marvels. A. Oh, Lady Woos is definitely stealing the pin of the. I forgot what they're called, the Gallic or whatever cat that throws people up. <laughs> oh, and look, they. Oh, she's gonna steal the goose. That's that's goose. That's right, that's goose. Sorry. But he's some kind of alien cat. So I'm gonna slide these out. They actually wrap them now. And I've seen this and I've heard people say they started wrapping these at Funko. We got Captain Marvel, which she's pretty cool pop, $3. And then Goose, which I know Lady was is taking this one. That's her all day. I believe I showed her this and said, oh, that's what it comes with. She said, oh, you got to get that one. <laughs> so $3 each. Not bad. Got two more to go. Yeah, right? Yeah, and these were big pops, too. Ooh, I shouldn't have dragged it through like that. That's my fault, but it's not bad. So, um, well, well he's, if as long as it's not taped, he is off his pegs. Uh, this is the Briar House Hopper from the Network Stranger thing. It is a build-a-scene figure. $7.99, originally $24.99. Um, I'll probably open it and, and fix uh, Hooper there and put him back on his little pegs so he's standing around. $7.99 for an Amazon exclusive. I picked it up. Focus. Yeah, they had the paper on the other side. I should have I should have flipped it around. Or there's something in the paper. Nope, nothing in the paper. We got one of these, but you know what? Where is my handy dandy friend, Mr. Exacto from high school? Yeah, so now this week, I think I'm going to finish watching um, Dead City. Finally get that over with. I was going to pick something from Apple, but I didn't really see anything I want to watch right away, so... I'm going to leave it. This was another Amazon exclusive. This one was $13.99. I have most of the set so far. This is the Hyperspace Heroes. This is Luke Skywalker and the T-47 Airspeeder. Um, I picked him up for $13.99. Originally $30. And the long one. <laughs> we'll open this guy. Oh, this guy's already open. And the Amazon driver was nice. He brought him right up to the porch for us. 
Oh, yep. Okay. So, we've got a multi-tool in here. I did get a Marvel Legends figure that came down to... Sorry. That came down to 10 bucks Because I, I did not have him yet. And I'm doing the Build-A-Figure for Koshu. Um, and this is Agent Wu from the WandaVision. So, I picked him up. $10 Marvel Legends, which... I'll buy Marvel Legends for $10 almost any day, as long as they're ones I like. We've got a couple small pops, and then we got one big one. All right, I got the Falcon for the Civil War set I'm working on. He was under $10, $14.99. This is, oh, this is a... Uh, Pop with a pin, Marvel Pop with a pin. He was also under ten dollars. I have a couple of the other pins that go like this one. This is an older Captain America with the pin, I believe. No, this is Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest, and they come with a pin. I picked him up seven ninety nine, and that one I think was more than fourteen ninety nine. Now the big boy here. This was, uh, these were originally $60. This one here, I think I paid 20, 20 to $24. Um, this is Lady in the Tramp, I believe. No, Peter Pan. I, I'll get the Lady in the Tramp one too, but these are the movie posters. And I kind of like them with the posters. I just, I won't buy them unless I can get them for like less than half off. Because even $30, I mean, that, it's a decent price for this, but it's still a little too high for me to bite. So if I can get them under $30, they are worth it. You know, Disney, Disney's always a good bet to buy when you're getting collectibles, in, at least in my head, because um, they go up if you, if you watch. I'm going to have to dump them onto my lap. This is Disney 100, Peter Pan. You got a little Tinkerbell and Peter Pan there. And we're getting a glare. Oh, there you go. Not that bad there. Little side view. Peter Pan, this was um, less than 25 bucks. That's probably my biting point on these, 25. I did buy my Woo slip in here, a Snow White one and pay. Lady Woo's got it cheaper than that. But we got her Snow White because she's a big Snow White dopey. Don't be collectible. So that's usually, a, you know, I buy my family collectibles too for the ones who do collect things. Um, so that's about it this week. I think I'm going to do Dead City. No movies next weekend. We have to get up with the gang and plan some things to do in Vegas. Don't want to go out there with a not a plan because we didn't have a plan the first time me and Lady Woos went. And I, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I gotta have some kind of plan. I, I gotta, even if I don't follow it, just a, something to go by. So we'll see how, uh, what I can get in watching this week. Who knows what I'll buy. I got a couple pre-orders here on Amazon. I'm holding off on Target pre-orders pretty much. I've seen them pop up. Star Wars new pops came out. Pre-orders sold out for the Target exclusives, but I've been pretty lucky finding stuff in store either before the pre-order ships or at it. So, uh, or they go on sale and I, and I get pissed because <laughs> I get pissed. I jump on them and then you could have got wait a week or two, got them on sale. But if it's a hot item, there's no guarantees of that. So you got to make judgment calls sometimes. That's what I do with my collecting anyway. That's how I have so much crap. <laughs> Not crap, uh, lovely collectibles. Um, and this week, down in the Woo's dungeon, I unearthed my Hollywood video rack. Yep, when Hollywood video went out of business, I think I spent $150 or $200. It might have been $250. I've got a 12, 12 foot plus movie rack both sides from Hollywood video downstairs 
One side full of DVDs and Blu-rays, 4Ks. The other side also half full of DVDs, 4Ks. There's other stuff on that. I haven't accessed that side yet. But it was just a big job to get to the one side. Lady Woos hasn't seen it. She says it's been a decade. She could be right, you know. <laughs> you have problems. You let your depression get to you. Um, I got that under wraps now, so I'm on a roll. I'm ready to go. Time to show you guys what I actually have. Um, how passionate I am for it. It's one of the things I love. I do this show because I like it. I like, you know, I don't care if people watch, but I like it when you do. I like the comments. I like the likes. I like the subscribers. I appreciate you all because we all should appreciate people, ourselves included. All right, enough of me rambling on, my friends. This is Woo's the Collector. I'll see you next week on the Collector's Geeks and Freaks show 95, episode 95. We're getting close to the 100 where I told you I have to video in here. Lady Woo's going to have to video. I'll have to show you how bad it is. But I have a new plan. Comics here from last week still haven't touched. This stuff, the new stuff, has to get cataloged today. That's my new promise to myself. This way, the piles don't get bigger. I got this all day long. This is Woozy the Collector, and I'm shutting my mouth and finally signing off.